snag auction properties at lightning speed. Now, what are we talking about this week? Well, if you want to buy properties at auction, hey, you don't get much time, do you? Because most of the time it's 28 days to complete. We're going to drill down to see exactly how you do that. Hey, keep watching. Hi, right, Kevin right back again with another property finance video and we're talking about auctions again this week. And here's a question I had recently. Someone said to me, hey Kevin, I'm looking to buy an auction and I've got an eight week period. I'm looking to buy an auction and I've got an eight week period to complete the purchase. And I'm gonna be buying through my limited company. I've got a 30 to 35% deposit, but I need to know which mortgage lenders are the quickest at the moment. Now I'm always happy to help people and now I'm always happy to help people and give them some guidance. So here's what I said to this guy. Now, which mortgage lender's got the quickest back office at the moment? Well, it's a bit of a how long's a piece of string question. Let me explain why. No mortgage lender has a consistent time frame for processing mortgage applications. It's on a variable, almost a week by week basis. Why does it vary? Well, quite simply, the amount of applications they receive to process. So the problem with the question is, by the time you get to auction, the lender that was quickest a few weeks ago may not be quite so quick now. Now, historically, some lenders are usually faster than others, but there's an element of unreliability about that. Now, leaving lenders to one side for the moment, here's a big, big caveat. Even if you chose the fastest lender and they were really quick at the time that you were putting your application in, you could still be scuppered in terms of an auction purchase by your choice of solicitor. Now, generally, solicitors have adapted quite poorly to post-COVID working practices. In other words, work from home. Solicitors were never that fast, but they're generally slower post-COVID than they were pre-COVID. So while your mortgage lender may be champing at the bit to get on a complete, your solicitor could still be several weeks away from being in a position to complete the purchase. Now with an auction, that's really bad news because the result is you lose your 10% deposit. But with an eight week completion auction, well that's a modern auction. Hey, check out my video where I look at modern auctions versus traditional auctions. Look, here's the thumbnail for that video. Now back with this video, Modern auctions with an eight week completion time have a buyer's fee, which is normally 6,000 pounds, but it could be more. So choosing the wrong solicitor would not only lose your 10% deposit, but it's cost you a six grand buyer's fee as well. Almost no one, even on an eight week auction time frame, relies on a mortgage. Invariably, they're gonna use cash, and if they haven't got cash, they're gonna use bridging finance. But hey, don't let me stop you losing a mortgage. If you feel up to it, Go for it, I can promise you, it's gonna be a white knuckle ride. Now, one last point. What's the condition of the property that you're looking to buy at auction? This is really important. Why? Because buy-to-let mortgages are only granted on properties that are deemed to be good enough to rent out, with a bit of tolerance to do some minor refurb work. Now, properties that show up at auction tend to be the ones that need more work doing, and probably, it's gonna fail the criteria needed to be mortgageable. So if you really wanna strap yourself in for a white knuckle ride, try and buy an auction property using a mortgage, get turned down for the mortgage part way through the process, and then you really are up against it to complete the purchase in the allotted time frame. So it's important not to jump in to an auction purchase unprepared. Understanding how bridging finance works is gonna make buying an auction a much smoother ride and make sure your solicitor is also experienced on the time frame of buying properties at auction too. Now that most likely means you're gonna to have to abandon your normal choice of solicitor who you'd use quite happily for mortgages. So there we are, that's how I dealt with that question about an eight week modern auction and how to finance that in a less stressful way. Now, I'm gonna be back next week with another property finance video. Hey, see you then. If you enjoyed watching this video, did you know every Monday morning at 8.30, I do a live Facebook Q&A. So if you wanna start the week with checking out some answers to your property finance questions, click the link here.